I've gone through a little bit about the folder structure and just how to, how to get it organized. Now we're gonna try and look at how to import data and how the folder structure helps you organize that data. So I'll go back here. We've got construction, folder, Heidelberg, Malvern, construction should be called like an address or something. Uh, we'll go Heidelberg because we've got some, uh, say concrete to uh, form work to set out. So we'll go to jobs. I know that we're gonna have a basement level and I'll save that, click OK. I know that I'm going to have a first floor level. We'll just say what, just say we've got the two. Now we're going to go, drag me over here. I'm going to go to import, import the data. So I'm going to have the file on a USB or you can integrate it with like a cloud-based server. We'll go through that in a later video. Easiest thing is get a USB, put the data on a data folder, just a folder called data, put it on the USB, plug it into the side of the tablet, and then you can go, oh, we'll say that I haven't put this in already. <laughs> just to show you, go green plus to add the data. Go reference data, so now you can either have it from the internal, the user defined, user defines where you can have like a Google Drive on the tablet and, and go straight through to Google Drive for completely for free. Uh, Dropbox, OneDrive, those kind of things. Or you put onto USB like, like uh, most people do to start off with. USB, I wanna do reference data. These other things are like control points, coordinate system, code lists, background image. So that's if you wanna import a file as a background image. So you can put an entire CAD file, the background image, and you can't select it. It just means the machine, uh, the tablet runs faster because it's not as many points. It's not trying to calculate everything. But we've got reference data. Then we'll go to, okay, we've got concreting. We're gonna do basement plan and we'll do first floor plan. So we can just go tick right away now if we wanted to, or you can click these arrows to the right. Arrows to the right just give you more options, uh, import, import settings view options. So on the left side, you've got layers. So imagine there, um, every feature of a construction site, just in case you don't know, every feature of a construction site, when they draw it, like an architect or an engineer draws it, they draw it as layers. So you might have like water, you have concrete, you have, I don't know, external walls, internal walls. Imagine they're all stacked up, stacked on top of each other and they're printed off as a PDF or a piece, piece of paper, and that's where they're provided to you. So imagine all those lines are all different layers of pieces of paper. Well, that's them here. So on the left side, I don't think these are, you might say, okay, this is this was drawn as a sign, house, building, uh, window. So they're all like just different lines and points all drawn on top of each other, printed off as a flat piece of paper and provided to you as a plan. Anyway, so on the left side, we can turn these on or off. So you can turn off, we don't want to import signs. We don't care about windows. We're not gonna set out any windows. We don't care about the ridge. We don't care about doors. So you just turn off different layers. It just means it e makes it easier for you to uh, find out what data you need. So then we've got on the side here, settings, you've got distance unit, millimeter, height options. So you've got uh, whether you wanna use the heights in the drawing or do not use heights. Some people, it just depends on, on what kind of job you're doing. Uh, block options. This is if you've got a rectangle, like a pit lid, and you wanna set out the four corners of it, it may have come in as a single, uh, I guess, object. So that object is a rectangle. You want to break that up into four lines to set out. You explode the rectangle, and then you get four lines to set out. And then you get set out the corners rather than just the center. So I'll go explode. Dimensions. So we don't need dimensions anymore with like or icon because all the data is you can you can pick between different points and corners so easily that you don't need to know the dimensions anymore because it's all on the tablet and all through the, um, the through the different apps. So I'm happy with that. We'll do the same for here, go through and turn it off. I'm gonna, I'm guessing that it's in millimeters. I'm pretty sure it's in millimeters. You can check that beforehand. If you get that wrong, you can always just re-import it and put it through as meters. Very easy to do. We'll go explode, yeah, it's me and I'll ignore those dimensions. Click tick, tick again. Then it'll upload the data. I've just got a USB in the side of my tablet. You'll see that. I think I just clicked the off button. No, all right. So now you've got the imported data, reference data here in your code list. That's it. So now if we go into our first floor, our data is now in there. Now if I've got survey control points, which I want to come off, I'll do the exact same thing, but I would use control. Find the control stations, click tick and then that would come into my uh, drawing. 
So I also have the settings here. So if you've got a CSV um, and say I've got, oh, got, it wrong, got it right. Say I've got it at the wrong order, you can go, use this. I'll do another video, but basically you can just kind of see, you just click these buttons and it organizes into how you're gonna uh, import it and you use a field separator, distance unit, blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna use it right now though. Um, if you've got a code list, you can import a code list here and the background image is like a background image that you can't select and it just means that you might just import just the points you need and then the background image to help you get a good idea of where you are on the map, <laughs> on site. Okay, so now we've got first floor level. Go into job, so you've got the first floor level, hold this down. So I've just tapped and held and then view data. So I go view data. I don't want to see the basement plan on the first level. So I'll turn that one off. Just have first floor plan, tick, tick, happy with that. Go click and hold, basement level, view data, basement level, yellow means it's selected, tick, tick. Cool, so now if I go home, I'll only have the basement level here. If I go back to home button, the home button down the bottom left, click here to, to select a different job, I want to do the basement level. Now if I go to layout point, now I've just got the basement level. So it's as easy as that. So now if I was to provide this, this uh, tablet with all the total station and everything to someone to set up on site, all I've got to need to tell them is say, okay, you're going to Holderberg, you're going to need to set out the basement level. So click on basement level here, and then just go set up and away they go uh, with the data, <laughs> at least with the data. So you can kind of see that this is how the data comes in. Um, the different colors are the different line, are the different layers. So we've got different options as well. So down the bottom right here, you've got the layers button. So here you can actually view all those layers we were talking about earlier and turn them off. So you, if you don't want to see certain things, you can turn them all off. I just want to see the building. Click the building. Nope. Well, at least the grids will come on. Whoever drew this didn't do me any favors with the amount of um, layers they've got going on. Okay, we've got grids. At least we'll know what grids are. So now we just have the grids. So now we could just use that as our setup and just use the grids. So you can scroll up. Great if they didn't have so many layers. Um, what you can also do is you can actually turn on the uh, both at the same time if you wanted uh, through this layers manager. So you can just see uh, it turns them on and off. So that's how you guess uh, can organize your data on the tablet within the job folder. Cool, so now that's that's it for importing. So that's about, that's couldn't get much easier. So you just use the USB data folder, tap into the side of the, the um, tablet, probably get all trippy if I did that. Um, and that's it. So as long as you've got your project folder, job folder, and you're importing down pat, then you should have the data ready to go. If you don't have data, that's also more than fine. So if you had, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any data in here, you can go into sketching and you can draw in your own plan.